Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Today I wanted to talk to you about how weather affects OCD. I find that this is something we always talk about with clients because it's just, it. this is how it goes. I find that if the weather is cloudy, if you can't go outside, if it's winter time, just cold, uh, a lot of the times, I mean, pretty much all the time, it makes OCD worse. So uh, try to prepare yourself ahead of time, not from a position of fear where you start to kind of be almost paranoid about the weather. You don't, you can't go into that direction, but at the same time, being mindful that if it is going to be cloudy weather or if it is going to be bad weather, chances are you might have a little bit of a harder time. So you prepare activities for yourself to keep yourself occupied, to keep yourself on track, you know, uh, and knowing when, uh, sometimes like if you have a certain month of the year in which it is harder, for example, for me, I remember fall was really, really difficult. You know, not that the whole year wasn't difficult, but the fall was specifically difficult. So prepare yourself for whatever period you find the worst is a good idea. Meaning that, you know, it's very likely I get these thoughts and, uh, uh, just to throw another thing in here as well. Nothing to do really with the weather, but it, it, it's just important to mention that if this happens with you with certain times of the uh, of the week or of the day, you know, where uh, universally during this time, I feel the worst, whether it's like a lot of times, for example, people feel the worst uh, on the weekends or uh, people feel uh Usually a lot of people feel the worst in the mornings, but I find that some people feel the worst in the late evening as well and having trouble falling asleep. So it's kind of like knowing where those times are and going into those times, whether it's seasons, you know, times of day, weather, whatever it is, right? Preparing yourself that I will get thoughts or I will feel the urge to do compulsions and I will have to choose not to. It's like, you know, I equate it to if somebody is coming into your house in the middle of the night to rob you, right? If you are prepared for them, you're going to have a much better response than if the, if they're coming out of the blue and you're not prepared, you know? So it's, it's very important to kind of understand where are my, uh, soft spots, so to speak, where are, and, and again, you know, another thing that I always talk about is understanding what your triggers are and not just understanding, but also working to eliminate them. So for example, if uh, you have contamination OCD and the garbage is a huge trigger, well, are you going to let it be a trigger your entire life or are you going to work on it, right? So how can we work on it? Maybe touching the garbage probably might be too much for you if this is a big trigger, right? But maybe being closer to the garbage, like standing closer to it, or maybe touching it and then washing your hands right away. And then maybe a little later and a little later, right? Like kind of working up to uh, behaving how everybody else behaves, you know? So those are just some key pointers I wanted to mention today. Uh, I hope you guys find these videos helpful. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you would like to do the recovery program, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.